Hi guys! This is Shada from the 11th apartment. Today I'm going to show you how to make a leather tassel keychain or purse decoration like these ones right here. I've only recently got into leather crafting, but I'm already totally addicted. So let's get started. I'll begin by showing you the supplies you'll need to do this craft. First, you'll want to cut a little leather rectangle. Mine is about 7 centimeters by 20 centimeters. A good guide for size is about 1 third and 3 thirds. You'll also need graph paper, a rotary cutter, a square or right angle ruler, a second ruler, super tacky or high tack craft glue, a little paintbrush, some painter's tape, and of course a cutting mat or cutting board. Here's how to begin. We're going to be working on the rough side of the leather first. You want to draw a line where you're not going to cut the tassel. I like to do mine about two centimeters in. And don't make your Sharpie line right until the edge because you might see it later. Something like that is good. Here's how you set up your station. Put your graph paper on your cutting mat or board. Keep your leather square in line with the graph paper. Use your square to hold the leather in place and also act as a stop guide for your rotary cutter. Use your secondary ruler as your guide for each cut. And get your rotary cutter ready to go. Hold this ruler down. Place your rotary cutter against it and make that first cut. Once you've made the cut, make sure it's good and move the, graph, move the ruler using the graph paper for your next cut. Press down, line up the rotary tool and pull it right along the edge of the ruler. Another good cut. And you're just going to do this down the length of the leather. Okay. So we've cut all the way down the length now with our rotary cutter. Finished with that, we can put that away. And there's our basic uh, tassel, it's all cut. Let's cut a little clasp for our um, tassel. I've got a scrap piece of leather here and I'm just going to cut out a long thin rectangle and it can be as thick or thin as you like and you're not too worried about perfection with this one. Just want to cut out something that's going to work as the, uh, as the part that loops onto the key ring. That looks pretty good. So now that we have our clasp and we know that we like our tassel, we begin gluing everything in place. I like to just put a dollop of the high tack craft glue on there, use the paintbrush to mush it around a little bit that like that. One more dollop of glue. And we're good to go. Just give that a moment to dry. And while that's adhering, I'm going to add a length of glue, a little bit of glue to the, uh, to the entire length of the tassel. I don't want any glue coming out the sides and getting all icky and sticky. So I'm going to smooth it down with a paintbrush, a little craft paintbrush is perfect. All that's left to do is roll it up. 
start at the end where your clasp is, and you're going to roll around that. It's a good idea to go nice and slow. And make sure you get it straight and tight. There's no rush. The glue will be tacky for at least, at least a few minutes. The last step is just to hold that tassel in place while the glue is drying. Take your painter's tape and then I just wind it around. Super simple, it doesn't have to be really tight. Just making sure the two edges meet and I'll just leave it like that for about an hour or two and make sure that glue is nice and dry. And really that craft glue is gonna make a, an incredible bond with the leather and it's not gonna come apart. And that's how you make a leather tassel. For more info